Yo, what's up, Ultimate Guitar? This is Martin from Oni, and we are on tour with Gojira. And I want to share with you my practice routine before we get ready for shows. So that basically comes down to stretching out my left hand, getting my right hand moving, doing a couple of stretches, and check it out. So the first thing I usually do to get into it and just kind of get the blood flowing is I play through one of our songs, Thrive. <laughs> Alright, so after I get the blood moving, I basically do a couple of stretches. One is on the forearm here, and the other one is on the back. So those are the tensors and the flexors on both arms. So I basically, with the opposite side of your elbow up, I'll just take my hand and pull it back, and I'll hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds. I'll do that on both arms, and when I'm done, I'll flip it, but make sure that this is still pointing up towards the sky. You don't want to flip the whole elbow up. Um, just kind of move your hand over and then do the opposite side and push down on your forearm like this and you'll feel it right in here. So I do that on both arms. Another 30 seconds. And um, lastly, I'll just kind of rub and massage right near the thumb on both, both hands. Um, and that's it. So about three, four minutes of stretching and you're good. So two exercises I do pretty much without fail before every show um, is a horizontal stretch with my fingers and a vertical stretch. Um, so I'll show you that right now. So the first horizontal stretch, you put your fingers down from the ninth fret on the E string down in stepwise motion, which ends up being a D major seven chord. And what we're gonna do is play one note on each string about eight times um, and then we're gonna move each finger down a fret and then play that eight times and then I'm gonna move my second finger down a fret play that combination eight times and then move the third finger and then the fourth and then you end up one whole semitone down and then we restart and we do the first finger and then the second third and the fourth so it ends up sounding kind of like this so on and by the time you get to the bottom your hand should be super stretched it's great for your right hand and it's good for your left so for the next exercise we're going to stretch our fingers vertically and what we're going to do is put all four of our fingers down on the same string starting from the fifth fret um, push them all down um, and we're going to start the first exercise by only moving the first two fingers and keeping these locked in. And we're going to play the fifth fret and the sixth fret on the sixth string. And then we're going to do the same thing on the second string. 
all while keeping these not moving. And then we're going to do the seventh string and first string for an even bigger stretch. Make sure not to cut the sound off either. You don't want this it to sound like this. By lifting your fingers too early. You want to keep them pressed down as long as possible and have the sound because you want to hold. You want to hold this finger and stretch this one while you go to this. And then when you play this one, you want to hold your second finger and stretch up with your first. For the next part of the exercise, we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to only move the second and third fingers, and um, we're going to keep the first finger and fourth finger locked down, and same motions. Sixth string, and, and second string, and then seven, and one. Again, make sure to hold the notes down, make sure that you don't cut off the sound quality. And for the last part of this exercise, we're going to lock down fingers one and two, and then only move the third and fourth fingers. Um, same process, sixth string, and second string, and then seven, and one. pretty brutal. Cool, so for the next exercise, uh, I get my right hand moving and I do this for speed and accuracy, but also just to, to get the pick moving. And um, this is what it looks like. I basically just play straight eighth notes um, and we're gonna put all of our fingers on the same string and play them in order of one, three, two, four. And then you move it up one fret and do the same thing. Again. Um, and you can do it the opposite way also. You can go four, two, three, one. Um, so... So one version of this exercise I like doing is in 3-4, and it's basically 1 and 2 and 3 E and a, 1 and 2 and 3 E and a, and we play it like this. And whatever tempo you're comfortable at. Um, that's a really good one for just being accurate and um, jumping from the slower tempo to the faster tempo, making sure that every note pops nicely and getting both hands to sync up together is really important. There's another 7-4 version of this which I really like, which is basically doing 1 and 2 and 3 e and a, 4 and 5 and 6 e and a, 7 e and a. And that basically sounds like this. Uh, you can do it on any string, and I just kind of keep running this over and over again. And once I get this cruising, I pretty much you can play it all in sixteenth notes and just run it up and down the guitar. Um, 
with a metronome at a tempo that's comfortable for you or sometimes if you don't have time like for me I'll be you know chilling right before the show with my guitar on just backstage quietly kind of playing to myself and I'll just kind of feel it out and um <laughs> And lastly, if I have time before the show, I'll do this advanced right hand and left hand stretch that's also got this cool timing exercise in 916 and it kind of uses groups of uh, three and four. 16th notes within 16th rest after each grouping um, and it's pretty rad so check it two three so basically to start this one off what we're going to do is stretch our fingers one fret apart, 15, 17, 19, 21st fret. And the order or pattern goes like this. And then repeat. Um, and basically what I'm doing is grouping it in groups of four and three with an extra 16th rest after each grouping and that brings it to 916 and here's how that sounds so one two three four rest one two three rest one two three four rest one two three rest one two three four rest one two three rest one, two, three, four, rest. One, two, three, rest. One, two, three, four, rest. One, two, and so on. And then you put it over a quarter note and you get. the first and third strings, first and fourth strings. It's a really cool timing slash all around great stretching exercise and I'll really only do that one if I have time before the show. Usually this whole routine only takes me about 15 to 20 minutes to finish and it's perfect uh, amount of time. My hands feel great and I'm ready to slay um, when I get on stage. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you were able to take something away from this lesson. Um, make sure to check out Oni on tour. Hopefully we come to a city near you. You can check out dates at www.theoniband.com or check out the Facebook and Insta. Peace.